Okay, so now in this next exercise, what we're going to do is you're going to go up and we're going to go finger, just use just fingers one, two, four. And then another exercise we'll do uh, one, three, four. Now the reason you want to do these is when we're playing a scale, you either have two, two note configurations, and then we have the three note configurations within scales, which is the majority of our scales. So right here we have, I'm going to play um, fingers one, two, four, one, two, four. Next one, two are going to be one, three, four, one, three, four, and another two step combination. We're going to play this scale. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, two. And we do a shift over here. One, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. So as you see, one, two, four, and one, three, four are, uh, are what, what we use for the majority of all of our scales. So we're going to start with this exercise um, for one, two, four. Now, the tricky thing about this is with our right hand, it's going to be a little bit different. Where before it was down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Every single time we move to a new string, it would be a downstroke. Well, with this, there's only three notes. One, two, three. Then we got to go over to the next string to start that. Well, with our strict alternate picking, means each string is going to rotate on what we're going to hit first. So right here we start with a down stroke, down, up, down. We go to the next string, it's going to be up, down, up, then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it, it rotates in between down strokes and up strokes on each string. So you got to be really careful of that. Now, what I recommend is to not just kind of go through it. You could very easily do a couple downstrokes in a, in a row. You know, you can without really uh, keeping an eye on that. So easy to make mistakes in there and be inconsistent. So what I suggest is to verbally say it out loud, because then you'll catch yourself. So say where I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, wait a second. I said up, but I played a down. Just by verbally saying it, you're going to be more likely to catch yourself. So really make sure you do that. At first, do it verbally. Later on, when you, you know you're consistent, then you can drop that. But verbally say it right out loud. That's the best way to catch yourself. Um, second best way is just to uh, videotape yourself and kind of look at it and see how you're doing. But uh, again, even then, you should probably verbally say it anyways. So uh, there's there we go for that. Now the next thing we want to do is take this exercise. And you'll start out by doing the same thing we did with our uh, other left hand exercise in the very beginning. You'll just go up. <laughs> back down and you'll keep doing that till you feel pretty fluent with it you feel comfortable and then you're gonna do the whole thing going up over one down over one up uh, yeah up, and then so forth like this Just like the uh, the other ones, you go up, back down in the first fret, and then get that down, and start doing the, the exercise where you're moving up to the up the neck until you hit the fifth fret. But you're gonna go up and down. So uh, you want to work on that one for a while and get that one down really well. And 
when you feel comfortable with that, you can do it at a pretty decent speed, then it's time to move on to the next exercise. So we'll see you there.